Yo, what up? Oh, Jesus. I don't know if you can see over there, but that is super smoky. All from this. Anyways, how's it going? C33 Media here. This is going to be my very first um, YouTube video, really. I want to start a series of this, like, build of my treatier. That beauty right there. So we're just going to do a little walk around um, of it. Show you show you all the in and outs of it. All the little nooks and crannies, I guess. I don't know. Um, and, uh, yeah. So let's get started. So first things first, this is my 1986 Mitsubishi Tradia 1.6 I'm pretty sure it is, um, carbureted engine, oh shit, carbureted engine, picked her up probably a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, but yeah she is mean. Right off the bat we've got some fucking dark ass tail lights, those are just sprayed. Um, they did a really shit job because there's overspray all down there and even the paint job's pretty shit because it was obviously an at-home job But yeah, I absolutely love the tail lights. They are <laughs> fucking dark, especially in the day. You can barely see the uh You can barely see my brake lights go on and then down there One of my favorite parts of the car The tucked wheel well. Look at that. You can't even fit your bloody hand in there. What? And the snowflake wheels, those are a bitch to clean but yeah, um, so that stock, I'm pretty sure, those springs get tucked under, because I'm pretty sure it comes stock like that. Although the front wheels, however, these, I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping they haven't been cut, but I think they have been cut. They're either cut or they're lowered. I absolutely love the fitment there, like, look, 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 oh, so good. A bit of fender rub though, when I turn the wheels full lock left or right, they do rub quite a bit when I'm driving. <laughs> and speaking, while we're at the front end, it is super fucking low. That right there, barely any clearance at all from those little tow hooks. Like these speed bumps, that one right there, I scrape on that. It doesn't even look that low, but it's fucking scrapes, it's ridiculous. Anyway, shall we look inside of it? Well, actually, first of all, let's pop the hood and look under there, eh? Now one of my favorite things about this, ready for this, ready for this, what pops up fucking backwards? How insane is that? Okay, let me just set the camera up here and try to actually set it on the carburetor. Oh God, that's a bad angle, but we'll just pop that there. But, I mean, look at it. Look at how much room there is for activities, like room, 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 not much room, written, not much room, actually, a little bit. What I want to do with this is turbo it because the um, turbo version of these actually are um, the same exact block, so yeah, same exact block, all you need to do is change the headers and I'm pretty sure the exhaust system the exhaust piping, but it's pretty much ready for a turbo. So I'm gonna, once I find one for the right price, I'm definitely gonna be chucking a turbo in there. Um, add a few more horses to it. I do need to replace the uh, radiator though, cause I mean, yeah, let's not talk about that. But um, 250,000 Ks, a, quite a bit, but I mean, she's fucking, she's a good runner for her age. like. Honestly, I was so surprised when I picked her up and took for a test drive because it's insane with how well it runs for its age. Although one um, thing that's annoying, let me just pop this off, is the um, the choke on it's a bit iffy. So when it's cold and I cold start it, one thing that I have to do, let me just place that on the ground. One thing I have to do um, while it's cold is the choke. I have to fiddle around with that quite a bit because um, when you cold start it, if you don't add gas to it or play around with the choke, it really wants to die. Like if you don't add gas as you turn the key, it pretty much rolls over, ignites, and then dies about two seconds later. Uh, I'll show you right now if it was cold, but I've been going for a little bit of drive, so she's not too cold. Um, but yeah, she's a fucking good runner, man, honestly. Brand new um, air filter, this thing. Brand spanking new. Absolutely beautiful. Um, anyway, shall we go into the interior and have a look at those plush, luscious seats? All those sneak peeks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So right off the back with the interior of this thing, let's hop in, dash, I love it, also this little guy here, when you turn the aircon on, oh it's so funny, he just like has little arrows and stuff pointing towards him, if it wants to focus, got the little hula girl, I've named her Samantha after my last car, the good old Civic, so she's always going to be in here as a memory, isn't, isn't, isn't that right? And also with how shaky this thing is, when you start it up, she just fucking bounces up and down. Let's crack up. Got all the air fresheners. Um, let me zoom that out, actually. One other thing I love about it is the digital clock. Hang on. Um, but yeah, see, look, there's the arrows pointing towards the guy. Digital clock. I love it. As you can see, 9 o'clock. Um, one of my favourite things about this... Bluetooth stereo and it's got a massive subwoofer in the back, like ridiculous. It's it's crazy, I'll have to show you. Um, but yeah, we've got the really nice fluffy seats. These are so, so comfortable. I absolutely love them. Got the same material on the doors. Um, and the back seats are even more comfy than the front seats. So it's like a C33 Laurel, like it's crazy. Obviously, got the Bose Zoku ring. Um, one thing I picked up pretty much the day I got it is this new Sparco shift knob. Of course it's manual because I'm not a pussy. Um, although, although if you do have an auto, it's fine. It's fine, you know, it's fine. It was originally an auto, manual swapped. Um, and then for the fifth year, it's quite funny, they've got this little switch here, if it wants to focus, where you I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. If you hear that little click that is going into fifth so you put your clutch in and then flick that down and you're in fifth so going from fourth into fifth pretty much does nothing it just stays in fourth the whole time but uh, yeah i'll show you the subwoofer in the boot because it is absolutely massive let me just pop that sorry i'm a bit close am i um the boot's a little bit messy yeah treat it essay i don't know if you'll be able to see it that well but let me get my phone light out, actually. That massive box is a subwoofer. I'll show you on another video the other side of it with the actual, you know, subwoofer. Um, then we've got this massive amplifier here. That all came with the car. Absolutely incredible. I love it so much. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for the car. I'll be sure to um, make more videos of the car and what I want to do with it, because in the next video, I'll explain to you what I'm planning on doing it. Um, we're going to be painting it, hint hint, um, I'm not going to say what colour yet, you'll have to wait and see, but yeah, I mean, it is an absolute beauty, I love it, it's probably, I haven't seen any others in the Wellington region, so I might be the only one, like these things are fucking rare man, they're really rare, so um, yeah, I'll just keep you updated, I'll definitely be sure to make more videos on it. But uh, yeah, I'm daily driving this thing as well at the moment, which is, uh, is a little bit sketchy because I mean it's from 86 and it's 2020, fucking 80, 34 years I think it is, 34 years old, so she's a bit old, but um, yeah, I mean I'm going to definitely make more videos, keep you updated on what I'm going to do, I'll probably tell you my plans with the car in the next video, but uh, yeah, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Check the Instagram out if you haven't already. Um, C33 underscore media, which I haven't made the YouTube channel to upload this on, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to just call it that, or C33 media or whatever. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Straight man, straight man.